Hey everybody, today's video brings us out to Coventry, Pennsylvania, maybe Pottstown, Pennsylvania, kind of depends on who you talk to. I'm gonna say Coventry, Pennsylvania. I've always called this area just Coventry, Pennsylvania because we are here at the Coventry Mall, my old childhood stomping ground that's now a dead and somewhat abandoned mall. You can see there are signs that say we are open during construction. Look at this, all the stuff to saying what is open. The Golden Nail Spa is open. The Books of Millions open. And the reason why there's so much stuff saying, yes, we are indeed open is because this mall is a dead mall. There's apparently all these plans to actually take this mall, turn the whole entire inside for the most part into like self storage, and then just turn this into like more of a um, outdoor sort of shopping center strip mall, if you will. That is the plan for this mall. I was actually out here a couple of months ago on my second channel, Cinema Sickness. I shot an edited video walking through here, telling some stories with a friend of mine who's also from the area who also grew up going to this this mall all the time. So I'm kind of curious coming back all these um, months later to see what has happened. Are some of the stores still here? Are none of the stores here anymore? I have no idea. There were still a couple stores sort of lingering inside the mall a couple of months ago. The food court was still sort of open. I believe there were only two stores left in the food court that was still open at the time. Kind of curious to see if those are still around. There's a really good pizza place. I actually really like the pizza place in this mall. Curious to see if um, that's still a thing. I have no idea. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna take a look at this dead mall. I want to document this mall for this channel as well. Also, I just wanted to come back all these months later and see what exactly is going on. I remember as a kid, I want to tell this story quick. As a kid, during uh, the month of October, one night during the, one, one weekend, they'd have a fire prevention night and they'd have all the, the local fire companies from the area come out here and set up their fire trucks and their ambulances. They all had the ladders up, they all had the lights going, no sirens and stuff, but all the lights would be going, the ladders would be up. It was an amazing sight to see you would come down the road right here to get to the mall. And as you're driving, like, cause you're up on a little bit of a, of a hill there, you would just see all these fire trucks and whatnot parked here, again, with all the lights going. It was a really, really cool experience. I, I loved doing that. I wish they still did stuff like that. I never knew what they would do though if there was a fire that night or what there was a fire and all these trucks that they get out of here as quickly as possible to go fight that fire. I don't know how that would actually work. I, I have a feeling a house would burn down that night, but still, maybe that's why they don't do it anymore. I have no idea. I wish they would still do that, but all right. Enough with that story. I was actually going to the mall and see what, if anything is left? I'm hoping we can actually walk through the mall. I'm not entirely sure. Look, look at, look at this guys. The mall is, I'm, I feel like I have to whisper in here because there's no, there's like nobody in here talking. Look at the mall, it is dead. So over here where the Joanne Fabrics used to be, which you actually can't get to from inside the mall, this used to be a Sam Goody back in the day. I remember my friend used to work there. He was the manager at Sam Goody. He used to get me all kinds of dis all kinds of manager discounts at the Sam Goody. I remember that back in the day. I think this was like a Ruby Tuesdays or something like that back in the day. Again, so much stuff that used to be here that is not here anymore. And the mall is just dead now. There is a Golden Nails and Spa here. This is still here. One of the few places that's actually stuck around Again, I know I'm, I know I'm like whispering, but I feel I have to. It is very, very quiet. I mean, listen, there's like a little bit of music playing from the spa, a couple people talking, that's about it. There's not really much going on. So they're putting some stuff in here, I guess. Again, they're kind of turning this into a strip mall. So all of this apparently is gonna be storage. And then all these stores here, as you can see, they're kind of opened up from the outside now. And these will, be, these will still be stores that won't be accessed from this area. Like this whole area I'm walking in right now, either won't be a thing anymore, or if it is still a thing, it'll just be for people dropping off their, their stuff in their self-storage units. So that's crazy, that's awesome. Right here used to be a Bavarian pretzel, right where this tile work is. I remember as a kid, you'd come out to the mall with your mom, it was me and my, bro me and my brother, my mom, we'd come out here and she would say we were good. We could either get a Bavarian pretzel or we could get a, a cookie. I don't, we, I don't know which one I would go with. It was always it was either a Bavarian pretzel or a cookie whatever one I felt like getting. I remember when we got a cookie though, I never got a chocolate chip cookie. I always got a cookie with M&Ms in it instead of chocolate chips. That was the best thing ever. I think that store was down this way, but that used to be Bavarian pretzel. I, I love Bavarian pretzel. They were kind of soft pretzels with a little bit of a, a crisp to them. So look at this mall. It is dead, it is empty. There is nobody in here. KB Toys used to be right here on this corner where this sort of round area is. This used to be the KB Toys back in the day. I used to come in here, buy all kinds of toys and background collect the Pez dispensers. I used to buy Pez. Now, I mean, it looks like you can still kind of see a little bit of remnants of KB up there on the, uh, the air conditioning unit, which is still kind of blue. That used to be candy and all kinds of things there. Pearl Vision's actually still here. Pearl Vision's one of the few places that's been here since I was a kid. I remember, I remember my mom getting glasses from here when I was a little kid. So that's always been there. That's, that's a thing. 
what is this? Coventry Corners, there's all kinds of desks and things. Oh, so this I think is stuff. Thank you for shopping at the Coventry, for, Coventry Furniture Depot. So this looks like maybe stuff from, from some of the stores that, that's being put here for, for sale now. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it looks like. This used to be the Deb back in the day. Who remembers, the, who remembers, show of hands, who remembers the Deb? My wife worked here for like a week and then she had to get her wisdom teeth taken out. And I, like, I, I, like she was here for a week, went to the dentist, he said, you gotta get your wisdom teeth taken out. She came back, told her boss, hey, you know, I, I know I just started working here, but I gotta get my, my teeth taken out. I'm gonna need like a week off. And they said, no, you can't do it. And then she quit. So she worked there for like a week and then that was it. You should be where the Suncoast video was. I believe it was right either here or here. I, I, maybe, no, I think, I think that was like a hair cuttery place. This used to be the Suncoast video. I missed Suncoast as well. I used to get so many cool movies from there. That was the, that was a Victoria's Secret there. Bath and Body Works. I believe Bath and Body, you know, one of the few stores that's still here. Bath and Body Works, I think used to be, um, what's that, what was that company where you would get like smoked sausages and stuff for, for Christmas? I think that used to be right there. This was a cool, interesting store as well. This used to be like an all horror themed store. They, um, they moved in here like later on after the mall was already starting to die. They've actually moved out, moved to a different mall that's also kind of sort of dying. Hopefully they, they survived there, but um, I feel what it used to be here in general. I, I honestly don't remember. There's still a K Jewelers here. There's a Kohl's. Kohl's used to be, used to be Hess's. I don't know if you guys remember Hess's. Hess's was a local place. They're actually a, a um, Allentown, Pennsylvania based, well they were an Allentown, Pennsylvania based department store. They, they no longer exist. They used to be right here. I remember the whole department store used to come out right to the very, the very end here. It didn't have this whole like, kind of hallway sort of area. Hess's was great. We used to always used to park in the Hess's parking lot and walk through Hess's because my mom was actually my, my, my godmother, my mom's like best friend at the time, my godmother. She used to work at Hess's. So we used to always walk through there, say hello to her. Hess's was cool because right here, right when you were walking out from, from leaving Hess's coming into the mall, there was this, this section that like never left the 80s. There was all these neon lights. And they would pump music in there. It was kind of like the cool, where they put the cool hip, the cool and hip clothes, if you will. But it looked like it was just stuck in the 80s forever. It was, it was awesome, it was amazing. I wish they still had that. This used to be the, um, was it, no, not Mrs. Fields. Mrs. Fields, a cookie place. What's the, what's the place that sells all the chocolate? Gertrude Hawk. Gertrude Hawk used to be there. I think the actual cookie place used to be right around here, if I'm not mistaken. When I was a kid, I remember getting cookies from right over here. Like I said, we used to get M&M cookies if we, were, if we were good, if we were good kids, if we didn't cause a fuss when we were here with my mom, she would get us the cookies. Look at the ramps. I remember these ramps when I was a kid. My brother and I would always run up and down these ramps and get yelled at by my mom. When we, when we weren't being good, we'd run up and down these ramps. She'd say, the ramps are for the handicapped. You don't, don't use the ramps. But I mean, come on, you, you have to use the ramps, right? Even as an adult, I'm still using the ramps. Payless. I remember getting shoes from there as a kid. There was a Spencer's Gifts right here. You can definitely tell this used to be Spencer's. Again, I'm gonna walk up the ramp because you, you gotta do the ramp, right? How can you not do the ramp? There's, a, there's like an escape room thing over here now. This used to be the FYE, now it's a gym. So many hours spent inside this FYE back in the day. I, I miss the FYE, I miss hanging out in there and buying movies from there. It one not. Here's the Boss Cause. My aunt used to work here. I don't think it was called Boss Cause. I think it was called it was Bonton. I think this used to be the Bonton back in the day. And my aunt used to work here when it was Bonton when she was younger. I kind of want to take you guys into this place because this place is sort of kind of like cool and retro. Oh, Friendly's used to be here. I remember getting dinner and ice cream at Friendly's. I don't want this video to be too long, but it might be. So this place is still all like, it's got all the glass of all the mirrors and all the cool like lighting up there. This place is pretty awesome. Should I be taking, I'm gonna take you guys in here. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna go into the, we're gonna go into Boscov's. So I wanna show you guys this place because it's still like totally like 1990s or something like that. I think they said the last, I think I was talking to them last time. And they said the last time this place was renovated was back in the 90s and it looks like it. Oh, see all the lights are out. I heard they're gonna do some renovations to this place, which is kind of what, kind of what I, kind of why I wanted to show you guys this place because uh, apparently they're gonna do some renovations and make it look nicer. Can we go upstairs? We can. I'm actually taking you guys to the, to the third floor. Again, I know I'm whispering in this video. I don't probably like talk, talking like this, I'm whispering a lot, not talking full volume because it is just so quiet. There's not a lot of people in this mall because it's kind of dead. Look at the neon lights. Look at that candy. Look at all the neon lights back here. Look at this place. They have never updated this place. There's mirrored ceilings. Look at all that neon. I'm kind of bummed 
that they're gonna eventually apparently update this place and renovate this place. I mean, I, I get why, it's way, it's way overdue, but come on. How cool is all this neon? I don't wanna see any of this go away. Look at that, girls, boys, toys. All this neon is so cool, I'm loving this stuff. I don't think they should get rid of any of this. I think they should keep it all. There's one more thing I wanna show you guys here really quick. I wanna to go to the third floor, which I don't think we're technically supposed to go to. I think they have it blocked off, but I wanna to go to it anyway. Let's see if we can actually get to it. I have no idea. As you can see, it's right, it's right here. It's kind of blocked off. Oh, so no, oh you're, you're, you're good, good. So I don't think we can get to it. So up here used to actually be where you could park your car. Look at that, look at that chandelier. So you used to be able to park your car on the roof of this building, which is really cool. Every time I came here when I was like a teenager, I would always go to the roof parking because how cool was it that you could park on the roof of the department store and then walk down. When my aunt used to bring me here all the time as a kid, we'd always be like, park on the roof, park on the roof because it was just so cool, it was so awesome. I love to take you guys up there, but as you can see, they have it blocked off. Last time I was here, I was able to get up there. I have a feeling that maybe I wasn't the only one to go up there and thus they've, they've really blocked it off so you can't get up there anymore. Look at that. There's really not much to show you up there anymore. They actually took all the, all the paving is gone and they put a bunch of rocks up there now. So that's, that's all that's up there now. Just a bunch of, a bunch of rocks instead of actual parking, instead of an actual parking structure. Parking structures no longer exist up there. You, can't, you cannot park on the roof of Boscov's anymore. But man, when I was a kid, it was so cool to park up there. So I really wanna just bring you guys into the store very quickly to show you how it's so just like never updated. So 1990s, but apparently they are gonna do some renovations to this place. Like I said, last time I was in here, I remember somebody was talking to me and I, she had mentioned that they do plan on doing some renovations because I guess with all the changes that are coming to this mall with them turning this mall into a strip mall instead of an actual like real, normal, whatever you want to call it, mall, they're probably gonna do some renovations to make this place look more modern, more up to date, more to go along with the rest of the stores that are gonna be in the new strip mall. It makes sense. I understand why they're doing that, but still look at this place. Look at those light fixtures. These are crazy. Last time I was in here, these, some of these lights were actually working. So they're not anymore. But yeah, like I said, my aunt used to work in here. I used to come in here all the time. I bought my first like suit from in here. I remember it was a Periella suit. I thought it was so cool because I had a Periella suit. It didn't fit me right at all. It was, it was just an off the rack suit that, that did not properly fit me. But back in high school, I was like, look at me, I'm so cool. In my, my fancy Periella suit. That probably looked more like a zoot suit on me because it was way, way too over, oversized. Oh man, I miss the FYE here. So many hours in the FYE. So many foolish mistakes. Also in this FYE, this is where I sold off my entire CD collection so that I could buy DVDs. I took my entire CD collection. I'm using the, I'm using the ramp again, I'm doing it. I took my entire CD collection, traded it in because I, I thought I could, I could take my collection, put it all into iTunes. I'm not gonna need physical copies of music anymore. I traded, traded it all in, it was all gone. And now I kick myself because I want all that physical media back. So foolish mistake. Habitat's been here forever too. They've moved. Habitat used to be like, like over here or in there. They move, they kind of move around the mall every now and then. So this store's been here for a while too. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen to these stores. We're gonna take the stairs now. Kind of curious to see what's gonna happen to these stores when, when the mall does go full. Look, look down that way. What's down here? Look at this. There's the back store. <gasps> I don't know if we're allowed in here, but look at the photographs. Gotta be honest, I was kind of hoping these were photographs of like the, the mall from back in the day. They're not. Right, never mind. I was kind of hoping they were old photographs of the mall or something. That'd be pretty cool, but they're not, they're not old photographs of the mall. They're just regular photographs. So this mall, again, was my childhood mall. Spent so many hours in here as a kid, walking around with my family, my parents, I remember one time we were coming out of what used to be Hess's right there where the Coles is now. I remember it was a big, there's a big crazy storm outside and all the power went out in the mall. Everybody screamed, it was black, all the, um, the, the complete, complete, complete pitch of blackness. I remember the, um, then all of a sudden the, the security lights came on and whatnot, the safety lights came on, it was, it was crazy, it was awesome. So many fun memories of this mall. And then back even once, once I wasn't a kid anymore and I was, I was a little bit older in high school, even in college, I used to come out here with, with girlfriends and friends, new shopping. I miss, I miss this mall. This mall was great back in the day. I don't know why this mall failed. I have no idea. This used to be Pac Sun, I believe. I do miss the, I, I, just, I just do miss this mall. Again, back in the day, coming out here with my family, my friends, 
it was a lot of fun. Where this uh, CBD place is, I believe. Ooh, let's, let's make it some noise. This used to be the uh, GameStop, I believe. Looks like, yes. Okay, so the cafeteria is still kind of open. They took a bunch of seating out. I don't know why they took like all the seating out of here. It was really weird. I came here like a couple of, like a couple months ago. My son and I came here. We were driving past the mall. He wanted pizza. I wanted pizza. I was like, I know there's a pizza place in the mall. Let's stop really quick. We stopped here. We couldn't find a place to sit because for some reason they took like all the tables away. There's like 10 tables here now. That's it. I don't know why. So this place has really good pizza. I used, I've been eating here since I was a kid. This pizza place has been in this, like, like a lot of the places in this mall and in the food court have, have come and gone over the years. They've changed. Like this, this wasn't always a subway. Things, that, things have changed over the years. But this place has always been here. And I used to eat pizza here all the time as a kid. I'm probably still gonna get pizza here. I'm gonna get pizza here now before I leave, definitely. The steak and fries place used to always be here as well. So these, these two places, the, the, the places that have always been here, this is, way back was a McDonald's back in the day. And there used to be a McDonald's there. So the two places that have always been here, the two oldest establishments inside this food court, maybe even the mall in of itself, are still here, which is kind of cool. This, the Coventry Mall community room, this used to be pocket change. This was a, an actual, believe it or not, these did exist, an actual arcade back in the day. I spent hours inside this arcade. My, me and my brother, didn't used to look like this. It was actually a little different. It was more open over here. There wasn't like a wall there. There was actually a, um, a counter where you could get, give your tickets to a guy and he would give you a bunch of crap. You spent way too much money trying to obtain. Man, so many hours playing Mortal Kombat in here, buying tickets, but skee-ball was like, right along the wall, like over here, that was all skee-ball. I remember playing um, X-Men and TMNT and, and Operation Wolf and all those fun games in here in the arcade back in the day. I, I miss, I miss the old arcade. I wish Pocket Change was still there. Pocket Change was still there. I'd be going in there and playing some, some video games right now. China Express is closed down. My wife loved China Express. They always give you like way too much food at China Express. That was the best thing about it. You would, you would give them like five bucks and they'd give you like seven days worth of, of the Chinese food. I'm not a Chinese food person. I don't really care much for Chinese food. My wife loved it and she would love going there because she knew she'd have like at least like three days worth of meals for just for just buying one meal there. It's so cool those two places still exist. I'm gonna have to get, them, get some pizza before I leave. I love their pizza. This was, this was a hot topic back in the day. One of the few, for a while this mall was trying to like have a comeback. They were bringing new stores in and Hot Topic was one of those stores because it used to not be a Hot Topic here. And they tried to again do this whole like renovation thing and, and bring back the mall. And Hot Topic moved in and they were only here for me like a year or so. Hallmark's gone. Everything, everything's just gone from here. Down here at the very end, this used to be Bradley's. Who out there remembers Bradley's? The Bradley's was another department store that I used to spend hours in because it, it, right in the back, in the far back corner was the toy section. I remember we used to go back there and we would play with all the toys. They used, to ha they used to have video game setups. We played with video games back there. My aunt was would always buy us toys. This eventually turned into, a, I believe it was a Ross, and then the Ross closed down. Now it's a community health and dental center, apparently. Sorry guys, wanted to bring you out here, show you the small books and millions here. Looks like they're gonna eventually move to the more front of the mall, which makes sense, because this is the very back of the mall. This is not a good place for your business of E plus. I'm sure all this will be kind of like, again, shut down, turned into self-storage. Pretty crazy. It's crazy this mall is just, that the fact that it is dying, the fact that it is pretty much dead. I'm surprised to see this many things still open. I think most of the stores that were here a couple of months ago are still here. They're still hanging on, with the exception of the, the horror store. That's closed down, but everything else is still kind of struggling and holding on. Curious to see when all this stuff will go, when the actual transformation will happen, when they'll go from being able to walk through here, to turning this on to self-storage and everything just becoming a strip mall. I'm curious to see if the food court stays here. I believe the food court actually used to be, this used to be, if I'm not mistaken, a, um, a movie theater back in the day. In fact, I have the plaque for the movie theater. So um, I guess at one point in the theater somewhere, there was a big plaque saying like, this theater proudly uses so-and-so projecting, projecting equipment. And I actually have that, that big metal display. I have it in my, my library because um, years ago when this mall was, I don't know if it's the same owners of this mall or not, but if, at one point they were trying to again renovate, re, 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 rejuvenate the mall, bring it back, bring new clients in and whatnot before they decided to do what they're gonna eventually do to it. And when they were doing that, they were having these raffles where they were like, they were like giving away stuff, things they found in the mall. And one of the things they found was that, was that really awesome like placard 
And they were like, who, who wants this? Whoever has the best story as to why they should have this placard, let me know. And I told the story about how I used to go to this theater. And then I told the story about how I had this amazing movie collection that I would look awesome displayed in my library. And I won the actual uh, plaque, which is really cool. So again, movie theater used to be there back in the day and then turned into a food court. So there you go, guys. I think this was the FYE for a little while. FYE was, was back there and they moved to a smaller location over here for a little while. That only lasted like a year or so. I don't, know, I don't think, I don't even think, Ver, I don't think Verizon's even there anymore. So again, so many places that used to be here that are not here anymore. This mall has become a dead mall. I would say it's a dying mall, but at this point I think it's pretty much a dead mall. I think, it, I think it's past dying. Plus, like I said, they're, they're gonna turn all this into self-storage apparently and just turn it into a strip mall. So I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen to all these stores. I'm guessing Bath and Body Works and Pearl Vision and all these places are gonna have to move out or maybe they'll move into a section outside or something like that. I, I have no idea. But all right, guys, I wanted to bring you guys out here, document this for this channel, show you guys this mall, my childhood mall, the Coventry Mall, a mall I spent so many hours of my life in, so much of my childhood was spent walking around this mall as a kid, as an adult, as a teenager. So much of my life spent here and now it's gonna, it's not gonna exist anymore. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to actually walk around in here. Cause apparently again, like I said, self storage. So my assumption is at some point you're gonna need a code or a key or something to actually get into this part of the mall. If this part of the mall still exists, this used to be Sears over here. So much of my time spent inside Sears. Remember this is where we used to get our family portraits all the time. Every year we get a family portrait at Sears. One of my fondest memories is the first time I ever played the Aladdin uh, the Aladdin game for the Sega Genesis, the Disney Aladdin game for Sega Genesis. I played it right in there. We were waiting for our photos to get developed. I remember they had a little kiosk set up where you could test it out and play it. And we would test it out and we played it there. We, was, we must've spent like an hour, my brother and I playing that game there. That was awesome. But all right guys, that's gonna do it. So again, I wanted to bring you out here to the Coventry Mall, show you guys what was left, walk around, document it for this channel. Crazy, it's, 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 it's crazy and it's also sad all at the same time that this mall, this mall I grew up in, this mall, it was a big part of my childhood, this mall that meant so much to me, this mall I used to come to all the time as a kid is now, is now unfortunately dead. And it will not be a mall anymore. And like I said, walking through here will be something you probably can't do much anymore, unless you do happen to have some self storage in here, then maybe you can still kind of walk through it, but I don't know how much longer we'll be able to do this. So I wanted to bring you guys out here, show you this. It's nuts, it's crazy, it's sad, it's very depressing. I don't want to strip, I don't need, I don't, why is everything going strip malls, strip mall these days? Like all these like outdoor shopping centers and strip malls and these like open air centers. I don't get those. I want a mall. I want to come into a nice air conditioned mall or a nice heated mall. If it's the middle of winter or if it's 500 degrees outside or it's raining, I don't want to go outside. I want to come to a place like this and get all my shopping done all at one time in a nice comfort, comfort, um, cli climate controlled building. I think that's, that's what makes sense to me. People don't want that anymore, I guess. They want, they want, out, they want to go outside. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Outside's great and all, but I don't want to, if I'm going to do my shopping, I want to go inside. I don't know. That's just me. Leave a comment down below. Do you prefer indoor malls or outdoor malls? Let me know. But all right, we've been talking for way too long. We're going like 25 minutes now on this video. So I should probably let you guys go. If you guys did stick around, thank you very much for that. If you guys stuck around, hashtag save the malls. That's what I want to see. Hashtag save the malls if you guys actually stuck around for this entire video, but all right, I am gonna go to, I am gonna, I swear I'm gonna leave you guys go. So as always, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for all the different links, check down below for a link to Patreon. If you do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road, a postcard to you from me every month will come to you if you do become a patron. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself What's With Day Today t-shirts, proceeds both from, from Spreadshirt, so I'm, I'm whispering, it's really hard to talk fast and whisper at the same time, uh, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas inside Vanabelle so we can come out to fun, cool, and interesting places like this. I can show you guys, I can show you guys dead malls. I think this was, I think this was um, Foot Locker back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. So, all right, guys, again, that is it. So, like I said, thank you for watching. Hashtag, like I said, save the malls. If you're still watching, if you're still watching 25 minutes into this video, I really do appreciate it, but I had to document this place properly. We had to walk around the entire place. I'm going to show you the dead mall. All right, I'll see you guys next video. If you do subscribe, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.